sometimes I find it hard to distinguish between a need and a want. Like, do I need another Oreo? Do I need another hour of sleep? And do I really need a facial? Fingers crossed. Hola, next tribe. I'm Cheryl Kramer K, and I am at the happiest place on earth. Yes. It is not Disney World. It is Rancho La Puerta. <laughs> and I am here today with Sofia Samudio. Sofia is a facialist here yes. at the ranch. Sofia, mm -hmm. how long have you been here at Rancho La Puerta? Well, actually this summer I'm gonna be 23 years working as a facialist here at the ranch. So of course I love it. You've seen a lot of skin. I see a lot of skin. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I think of a facial as a pleasure, but not something I need. Do you think of a facial as a need, a want, or somewhere in between? Well, um, most of the people don't realize they really need a facial. Mm. You know, they really need it. Is there a difference between what you can do in a facial and what I can do for myself at home? It depends on your skin, where part of the world you are or what season it is, mm -hmm. your skin has different needs. Wow. Here, when, we, when you are with me and I'm doing a facial, we look at your skin, we analyze your skin in that moment, what do your skin is. Take us through what happens in a facial. So a lot of people have never had a facial. Yes. Some mm -hmm. people have them all, all the time. time. Uh -huh. So let's just talk about the basic steps of a facial. Okay, in a facial first, I'm gonna clean your face. If you have makeup, whatever. Sometimes we need one cleanser, sometimes two cleansers. It depends. A double cleanse. A double cleanse if you have a lot of makeup, if you always use makeup, a lot of sunscreen, and you usually don't take it off at home, you go to bed like that at home. Mm -hmm. So you know one cleanser sometimes is not enough. We have to do it. Then we analyze the skin with nothing, you know? So when we analyze the skin, we decide what are the, our next steps. If she's gonna need extraction, if she's gonna need hydration, if their skin is so sensitive, mm -hmm. so what are we gonna do? To do extraction, we don't do it at you. Some people usually do at home. They just see something and they wanna squeeze it and take it out and do it with their nails or something. That is extremely satisfying. No, we <gasps> prepare the skin. Okay, so we put a nice hydrating like lavender needs to hydrate a little bit the skin. We exfoliate the skin and we use the steam. Yes. And we manipulate the exfoliation, you know, we do it and with the steam. So every pore, it, we clean it a little deeper than what you do, just do it with a cleanser. Got it. Okay. Then we use the lamp. Of course, my hands are always clean. And then I covered my fingers because I like to do it with my fingers and I put Kleenex on top of the cover uh -huh. to do the little extraction. We never damage the skin. So I always get very self-conscious at that moment. Like, oh my God, my skin looks terrible and she's seeing it. What are you thinking as you look through that magnifying lens? I, like, I love to do extraction. It doesn't gross you out. No, 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 no. I love it. It's like, oh, I have to clean it when I see the blackheads coming out from your skin and they're like, take me out so I can look more beautiful. For me, <laughs> I, it makes a big difference. Is it okay to do extractions at home? Look, I recommend always not to do it. Because mm. people, usually they do it in the car, washing themselves in the mirror or things like that, and they get infected. Yeah. Here we also do, after we do the cleansing, we clean the extraction, we clean the face, and we put um, antiseptic. So that way you don't have any infection on your skin. Gotcha. And of course, after we put a mask to seal your skin, and then your skin, your pores a little open, so it hydrates, it penetrates all the mask. That is different than if you do it at home, you know? Yeah, at home I just slap it uh -huh. on. The water's boiling. Hello! By the time you have your mask on, I will perform a little massage. We massage neck, shoulders, your head. So that way you're in a relaxing mood, everything is penetrating. And then we remove that 
and then we tone, we used your eye cream, we used for the lips, the serum, and then uh, our serum for the face, and we moisturize depending what moisturizer you need. Tell me what your top three products are that you use in your facials. And I know that you use the La Puerta Core Essentials, Essentials yes, line. Yes, I so love it. tell me a little bit about the Core Essentials line first. Okay, first our line is an organic line. Is we we love it because most of the ingredients that we use in our line are here at the ranch at Tres Estrellas. So they're botanical oils. We use a lot aloe vera. Aloe vera is a beautiful ingredient. It hydrates. It soothes. So it's for all types of skin. So my favorite. I mean, you say only three, so it's a little <laughs> typical. But for example, I have this one. That is the lavender hydrating mist. Oh, hit me, baby. Let me hit you. It doesn't have the oil, but it has the benefits, okay? So it's really beautiful. Oh, and geez. summertime, you can have it on the refrigerator. Or you come home and you just spray it a little bit. Muy importante. Muy importante. Who else do we have here? Okay. Now I have the herbal face serum. Hmm. Calendula okay. and chamomile. Uh-huh. And also has aloe, of course. Of course, of course, our friend Aloe. Uh -huh. And when would this be used in the facial? Okay, on the facial, on your daily routine, that's for uh, everyday use. Mm -hmm. You use it after you clean your skin, then you tone, then you put your um, calendula most, um, serum. And my favorite one mask, this is my number one. I love it because this is the pomegranate enzyme mask. So this one has enzymes from pomegranate and from apple. It has aloe. So actually this is like an, a mask that actually exfoliates. So it's fruit acids. It's fruit acids. Our products, there are no magic in our products. Actually they're just organic, we don't use chemicals. So you won't see something extremely different in one day. We want to hydrate, to nourish your skin so it lasts longer and you can see it every day a little better. It's the same. Wait a minute. Exercise, Isn't that the ranch's motto? Siempre mejor? Of course. Always, always better. Okay. It's all perfectly finished. That was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> if I could still speak, I would say thank you to <laughs> Sophia <laughs> and the Rancho La Puerta. Dos pesos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have problems with the um, menopause. Yeah. Yes, we do sometimes have problems so. with menopause. <laughs> Three okay. pumps. Yeah, like that. You grab it with your toe, oh, I'm sorry. No problem. With your fingertips in Spanish, toes and it's the same. Yes, dedos. Dedos, dedos. I'm showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> okay.